Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're taking a look at AV Linux, the MX edition. It's a combination of XFCE4 and OpenBox. But before we get started, please don't forget to like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you want to follow me on my socials, maybe buy me a cup of coffee, or better yet, become a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Those links are in the description below. So AVL Linux, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to their website, which is bandshed.net slash AVLinux. I will include that in the description below. And it just states right here, AV Linux MX Edition is a downloadable and installable shared snapshot ISO image of my own personal audio video workstation operating system. Based on the incomparable MX Linux with many additional customizations and tweaks. And if you go down, you have some snapshots and a couple videos, and then it gives you the features, and then a read about, and just different information on the distribution in and of itself. And then if you go up top, you do have AV Linux kernels, AVL drum kits, rated, bandshed records, sounds, FTP, and then of course, home. So we're going to close out of this and go back to the desktop. And when you come back to the desktop, you can tell you have one panel on the bottom. That panel's got the power button, of course, time, internet, package installer, Bluetooth, sound. And then over to the left, you've got Firefox we just looked at. And then, of course, you've got the Thunar File Manager. Let's go ahead and open that up. I like the layout. I like the look of it. Okay, over here, you've got your usual suspects. And then, of course, you've got your home folders right here. And it looks like they're including the hidden folders as well. It is Thunar, so it's just a light, quick, easy file manager. It stays out of your way so you can do your work. So let's close out of that. And then you come down here, we've got Terminal. Let's go ahead and do an HTOP. And that does have HTOP installed. Let's go ahead and go full screen. This virtual machine has 3 gigabytes of RAM issued to it. At present, with just the terminal open, we are using 558 megabytes which is pretty light, and we're using less than 3% of the CPU. So that means if you've got an older system, this will definitely run on it decent. And if you've got a newer system, this thing will just literally fly. So let's go ahead and close out a terminal. Then we come back down here. You've got Synaptic Package Manager, and I just used root. That's the password. When you open up Synaptic Package Manager, this is just an area where you can install and uninstall apps and software from your system. You can go down here. You can look at installed or local or obsolete. Origin, custom filters, search results, architecture, or you can just click on all, go over here and do a search for something like OBS. And as you can see, OBS has been moved over here as a highlight. And then if you come over here, it shows OBS Studio, but it also shows that it's already installed. So that's not something you have to worry about installing. But you just go in there, do the search for the kind of software you're looking for. Once it comes up, just check mark it. It'll say mark for installation. Once that's marked, you click on apply and it'll install it to your system. So let's go ahead and close out of that. Then we come back down here and you've got AVL MXE Assistant. It assists with various system settings. So let's go ahead and open that up. You can set the theme of the system. So let's click on that. Right now we're on the Die Hard Dark. I'm going to go ahead and leave that because I really do like the appearance of this. And then you can, of course, change your icons. You've got Breeze Dark, Dark, Dark Earth. I like the icons they have chosen at present, so I will leave that. Fonts. Now, this is somewhere where I would definitely make a change, so I would click on that. I like the font. It's already using, but I would like to have it a little bigger, so I'm going to bump that up to 12. Click Select, and as you can see, everything got bigger, which is much easier for me to read. And then Settings, Toolbar Style, and then Menus and Buttons, Event Sounds, things like that that you can change right here. So we will close out of that. Then you can set your window themes. You can set wallpaper. Let's check the wallpapers out. Right now, we're on Die Hard Sound Waves, and you could change this to something different if you wanted to. I'm just going to see. Let's change to this one. Apply. Close. And as you can see, it changes your wallpaper. And that's a pretty decent looking little wallpaper as well, so I'll just leave that there. QT4 settings, QT5 settings, refresh icon themes, and then run scripts in Thunar. And then you also have miscellaneous, where you can show system resources. Set a CPU governor, X kill, Jack D kill, and then update, update Firefox, Chrome, Thunderbird, configure wine staging, set up Lin VST, and then system editor. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. That's pretty handy right there. MX tools, you can open that up. And 
those of you that have done any work with MX Linux will recognize the MX tools, live USB kernel updater, live USB maker, snapshot, C root, NVIDIA driver installer, system locales, package installer, format USB, iDevice mounter. So you've got a lot of tools right there inside of MX Tools. Let's go ahead and close out of that. And then QJack CTL is a Jack audio connection kit QT graphic user interface. So we will go over here and we'll come up here. Let's go to accessories. You've got application finder, bip top, bulk rename, catfish file search, clipman, Compton, conky manager. Development, you got CMake, Fluid, Icon Browser, Graphics, Blender, Document Viewer, GIMP, Out of the Box, Inkscape, LibreOffice Draw, Internet, you got FileZilla, Firefox, Multimedia. This is where it gets interesting. You got Alsa Mixer, Ardor, Audacity, Avid Mux, Calf Plugin, Carla, Handbrake, Hydrogen, Caden Live, Olive, OBS, Reaper, SetB. You've got a ton of multimedia tools in here. Your office, you got LibreOffice Draw, Settings, About Me, Ad Block, Disk Manager, Firewall Configuration, Keyboard Layouts, Power Manager, Samba Settings Manager, and then of course System. One thing I do like about this is because it is XFCE4 and open box means you don't always have to be coming down here to be doing work. All you got to do is right click on the screen come down and whatever you need to get into you can do it right here quick and fast like in multimedia if you had to come over here and get into let's say clementine there's clementine and you can close out of that right click back down to your multimedia pulse audio all of obs you can open it up and you're ready to go with obs so that would just make for a quicker workflow for you and make things a lot easier most of the people that I know that's going to be doing any kind of creation, they will use this from time to time. But when you're wanting to get things done quick, this open box just gives you the ability to do it so quick. And it's right there. And it's very simple, very fast. And there's Caden Live. So let's go ahead and close out of that. I recently did a review on Ubuntu Studio 21.10. And quite honestly, taking a look at this, if you're a creator, to me, hands down, this beats Ubuntu Studio. That's just my opinion. But don't take my word for it. Zip on over, download it, throw it on a USB, put it in a virtual machine. Take it for a test drive. See what you think. Let me know in the comments below. Please do me a favor before you leave today. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you want to follow me on my socials, maybe buy me a cup of coffee, or better yet, become a patron to the channel over on Patreon, those links will be in the description below. Thank you for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.